studying RNA binding proteins using PARCLIP. RNA binding proteins are proteins that bind to RNA to form a complex. This can change the function of the RNA or that of the protein. Some RNA binding proteins, or RBPs, are implicated in diseases, including neurodegenerative diseases like ALS and several forms of cancer. Wrongly regulating RBPs can result in changing the expression and function of proteins that cause or prevent cancers. Many RNA binding proteins have been characterized using biochemical techniques. However, many of their functions and interactions are often poorly understood. So how do we study these RNA binding proteins, which potentially have a role in many biological processes? An older method to study RNA protein interactions includes using UV rays to cross-link proteins and RNA that are interacting with each other. Exposure to UV results in the formation of a bond between nearby aromatic rings and amino acids. However, simple UV cross-linking doesn't allow you to determine specifics such as where an RNA and a protein are interacting. A more recent biochemical method, however, can provide more information about the interaction between an RNA and protein. Photoactivatable ribonucleoside enhanced cross-linking and immunoprecipitation, or PARCLIP, is such a method. PARCLIP is a method that utilizes nucleoside analogs such as 4-thiouridine or 4-SU. In PARCLIP, 4-SU is fed to cells which is then incorporated into RNA. These cells are then exposed to UV. This links protein and RNA to each other at sites where 4-SU interacts with the protein. After lysing the cells, the material from the cells is then treated with RNAs, which degrades RNA not protected by an interaction with protein. Using an antibody, you can isolate the protein of interest and any RNA it interacts with. A second treatment with RNAs gets rid of any unwanted RNA that is not bound to your protein of interest and allows for identifying specific binding sites. The RNA that is pulled down along with your protein of interest is then labeled using radioactive phosphorus and run on a gel. You can ensure that you retrieve your protein of interest and its interacting RNA since it will run slower and will be radio labeled. The band corresponding to your protein of interest can then be cut out. Your protein and any interacting RNA are then separated and treated with proteinase K to get rid of any protein. You now have only the RNA that the protein interacted with. Now that you have isolated the RNA, you can sequence it and determine what RNAs are bound by your protein of interest. So how does thiouridine work? When exposed to UV radiation, thiouridine undergoes a unique reaction. The thiouridine reacts with amino acids containing aromatic side chains and forms a covalent bond with these aromatic side chains. The exact mechanism of how the reaction occurs is not known. However, it is known that the thiouridine only reacts to form covalent bonds at short distances, making it ideal for identifying where an RNA is in close contact with a protein. In the process of sequencing, you have to reverse transcribe the RNA into complementary DNA using an enzyme. The location of any 4SU in the RNA can then be determined by looking for mutations of thymidine to cytosine in the complementary DNA. So how can this method be used to study biology? Several researchers have utilized the method to identify the RNA that interacts with specific proteins. For example, Bose et al. utilized PARCLIP to demonstrate that RNA interacts with CBP, a protein that has a role in some cancers and development. Bose et al. were able to show that RNAs identified via PARCLIP change the acetyltransferase activity of the protein, which is a mechanism used to alter gene expression. Changes in gene expression resulting from defects in CBP-RNA interactions could potentially play a role in the development of cancers. 